Welcome back. Today we have news about the new Intel Atom Gemini Lake architecture and more. Recently, Intel's investment in Atom processors, aka tablet processors, has been very small and limited. Recently, ARM processors, the competing type of processors in tablets and such, have been slowly getting more and more powerful, leaving Intel at a disadvantage. Microsoft even threatened to not use Intel in its tablets. To combat this, Intel released its Gemini Lake processors, or will be releasing. These are small, non-power hungry processors that also have built-in graphics. You may be thinking, well, I won't ever need one of these, so what's the point? Well, the point is, th these kinds of chips are everywhere, in hospital equipment, tablets, cars, and so many other places. Most notable is obviously in Microsoft's tablets that use the old Atom architecture. So, what is in these new processors? Well, not much. All this new architecture provides is simply a faster speed and a little bit more efficiency while keeping the same graphics from the previous chips, which seems a little bit sad. These chips are also a lot less power hungry than the desktop chips. This means that, you know, intensive 3D games not, might not be so playable, but anything you're playing on a tablet will ne won't necessarily be considered high-end gaming. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like and check out my channel for other cool tech-related news and videos. Thank you. Interested in tech and talking about computer parts and more? Perhaps talking about the new Ryzen Threadripper processor? Well, join the Tech Discord, where you guys can get certified and help out other people when building their own computers 